Hi, I'm Claudia Brown-Coulter with Pivotal Peace. I'm your go-to mediator for navigating divorce while parenting children with special needs. And I'm also a legal document assistant LDA based in the greater Los Angeles area. This is Finish Your Divorce Fridays, right? It's Friday, it's this party, let's get you done. Today we're talking about a default judgment. What is a default judgment in a divorce? So let's get into it. So a default judgment it occurs when one spouse does not respond to the divorce. And I mean legally respond, not like, "Uh uh-uh, what? Mm." They don't file a response, okay? They don't respond. So if you have a default, then you are continuing and you're having this divorce processed without them sometimes sometimes now there's some nuances here because if your spouse absolutely refuses to participate will you you might not even be able to find them but you've served say you have and you've served them and they refuse to do disclosures they refuse to negotiate they refuse to do anything then you may have a true default on your hands where you need the judge to, without your spouse's input, terminate the marriage. That is a true default. So the circumstances are that you filed a response. They did not file a response. You filed a petition, you served them properly, and they are not responding to you. Okay? In California, you have 30 days to file a response. However, if a default isn't entered, you it may be possible past the 30 days to still file a response. Let me stop right here and not scare you. It is absolutely possible to have a default judgment and still have your 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 partner, your soon to be former partner, participate. And it's a default with a written agreement. Maybe they chose not to file a response because you guys decided the filing fee is like $450. And if you file a response, that's $450 that we don't really need to spend. Let's just keep working together on this. I'll do my disclosures, you do your disclosures. We'll mediate. We'll reach an agreement. We'll sign and notarize these documents with both of our signatures on them and we'll submit it to the court. That's a default too. It is a different kind of default, right? (laughs) This is not, I quit. I'm not even going to try. This is a different type of default. But the process is a little similar where you do have to wait for those 30 days to pass. You do have to ask for the default to be entered. And once that default's entered, no response can be filed, okay? And then you have to submit the judgment. You gotta submit that judgment, okay? And the court's gonna review it. But let me tell you, you got both your signatures on there. It looks different, okay? You're both in agreement. So if you if you don't, if your resp- spouse doesn't, file a response, that's fine. If they don't participate, you're really going to need to get the court involved. You may need to consider talking to an attorney to get advice on how to best proceed with getting a default judgment entered. If you are the respondent, and this is what I tell people too, let's say that they are doing a default with an agreement, that's the intention, and they're not sure if they should file a response or not. If you think things might break down, If you think you may need to go to court, then you might want to file a response so that you can have standing in court if you ever need to go before a judge. It's like a little insurance policy, okay? And then let's say you do that and you never need to go to court and you've you've done all the other steps, you filed a response, but you've finish your disclosures, you've mediated an agreement, you've submitted the paperwork, like you've, you're, you're good. Then the name of that divorce is called uncontested. It's uncontested. Cool, right? The, the end result is the same. Now, 
if if you have a true default and your your spouse never responds it might be hard to turn over that divorce unless your spouse can prove that they you know there was some sort of fraud involved maybe they were not properly served this is why service is so important but let me tell you something my clients we either go uncontested or default with an agreement. Those are your easiest and fastest ways to get a divorce. You're working towards the same goal of being done and moving on. All right, guys, have a great Friday. I'll see you next week. Bye.